Okay? And the event is during 17 to 90. We do not know which day is for the children. I might even ask on 17th morning to do, give a presentation, you should be alert. Okay? Or it might be 18th also. The 20th, we plan for a small field visit and in the evening you can plan to return to the bank. Now, in case if your parents want to accompany you, the responsibility of them staying in Mood Vidre is their responsibility. We can guide them where the hotel is available and such thing, we will put it online also. But the students who are coming for the late symposium, you know, accommodating them, giving food to them, and teachers who are coming to the symposium from the school, accommodating them and providing food to them is our responsibility. We will do that. Alvas is known for hospitality and it's a very good institution and it's an opportunity for you all to spend four days in Alvas. You know, Alvas, similar to Bhakti, I see rich culture. You know, I always keep telling, in our country, if you want to see the prosperity and sustainability of resources, you need to see science, society, culture and spiritual mission go hand in hand. Then you will see the, the prosperity and the sustainability of the resources. That's what we are looking for. And with this, I invite you all for the event. And if there are any queries, I would uh, answer to that. And my advice to all of you is to refer this web page at any point of time. You know, you can go to the web page, it is a one location where all details are provided. You know, how to do the experiments and uh, how others have done. You know, my request to all of you when you come to our house, please leave the slides prepared by you. When you prepare the slides, please do not practice copy paste. You know, if you want to come up in your career, you should never steal. Okay? Copy paste is equal to stealing. You should never do that. You should do your experiment and your teachers will guide you and teachers are going to evaluate. Now there are two things. On 15th of September, 15th afternoon or in the morning or in the night, the teacher will send me the list of the students who are selected for the late symposium. Teachers will provide the name of the student, class and also type of the project. Okay, then that is based on the evaluation. That means from today to the 15th, the school will conduct the evaluation of the student, and those who are done very well will be uh, selected by teachers. And you all should compete. And we want everyone, and teacher will not eliminate, you know, the teachers are very nice, but at the same time, they make sure quality is also there. Okay, so that means the good ones will come to the hard ones. Then from 15th of September to 30th September, you can improve your slides further because the teachers would have given some suggestion during the evaluation program. You will have 15 days time and you will submit to teachers your PPT slides, both PPT format as well as the PDF format, the presentation also. Okay? That teacher will share it with us, myself, Sinsi and Sulava through Google Drive. They will not send each presentation by email attachment. They will uh, archive it in Google Drive and they will share that link with us. And Good morning everyone. My name is Anita Krishna and I am studying in the Rajiv Class School by today, second grade. Today I will be uh, presenting the topic World Diet and Plumage. I will be comparing the words of urban lakes and highlight reserves. So I have observed, watched and analyzed the various words I have seen in wildlife reserves and I have collected data from the Kabini uh, river uh, situated in Nagarpur. And I have collected data of urban lakes from Sol Kere situated in Bengaluru behind uh, Echo World and I have also collected data from Moskoti Lake uh, behind and near Wildlife.
I have captured the pictures using cameras, KG film and uh, Nikon and I have gone in a bird watch with uh, bird watching community led by Ms. Deepa Mohanna. So here I have uh, given the birds I have seen in the community. I have only found uh, 15 of the birds species but then there are more than 200 birds in Kavini. So here uh, I have found more ca carnivorous birds than insectivores and herbivores. So here as we can see that I have, uh, I have given the birds name, diet, plumage and the prominence of the birds. So here the carnivores are the kingfishers. Crested hawk eagle, crested serpent eagle, uh, ospreys, uh, owlet, darter, painted stock, ibis, and oriental darter. So uh, these are the pictures of the birds. So the game picture is here: crested hawk eagle, crested serpent eagle, osprey, brownie um, kite, painted stock. Uh, even though not given the name of Brahmini Kaitanis, I saw Brahmini Kaitanis in the company. Um, here we can see that most of the birds, most of the kinds of birds are camouflaged and I was not able to spot it that easily because uh, they were camouflaged in the woods like uh, they were completely brown in color. So we were not able to spot it. Then we saw most of them as uh, birds of prey also. So the birds of prey are the festival. Serpent eagle, osprey. Um, then next, the insectivores are Malabarbia hornbill. So this is the picture of Malabarbia hornbill. Then pea fowl, white belly woodpecker, flycatcher, and the Indian roller. So the Malabarbia hornbill, white belly woodpecker, and the Indian roller. Here I have only found one herbivore. So that herbivore is the jungle fowl. So the jungle fowl it eats seeds, fruits and nuts. So it is one of the bright prominent birds. Next I will move on to the birds seen in Cosmote. So I have seen only the four species of birds. But then there are 50 to 55 birds. So here I have seen two omnivores also, but then more of carnivores and insectivores. So the carnivores I have seen are uh, white fish, alpes, wagtail. So wagtail is an omnivore. Um, so the carnivores are white fish, alpes, brownie kite, great cormorant, common kingfisher. Spot bill pelican and purple dragon. So, uh, this is a brownie kite, and this is a common kingfisher. Spot bill pelican and purple dragon. So, you can see that most of these birds are bright in color, and they are different from the birds seen in wildlife reserves because the wildlife reserve uh, birds were camouflaged, which were carnivores, but then here the carnivores were bright. Now let's move on to the insectivores. The insectivores are spot billed duck, black jonco, um, baya beaver, spot billed pelican. Uh, so spot billed pelican can also be considered as carnivores, but then they also eat many insects. And there is spot billed duck sunbird also. Here we can see that the insectivores are small in size. And the omnivores are parakeet and wagtail. Now let's move on to the birds in uh, uh, birds in Solke. So the birds in Solke, here I have seen more of carnivores only. So here I have seen camouflage and light. So the carnivores are oriented darter, former kingfisher, urinary food, grey headed swampland. Red bottle lapwing, bronze wing jacana, Indian egret. Actually, here Indian pond heron is also a herbivore, but then uh, 
the table is also considered as a cardboard. Most of these words are camouflaged and dried. So it's um, half populated as dried and half populated as camouflaged. Then this is the Eurasian food. This is both the Eurasian food. That is a reduced cut burger. And that's a common kingfisher. Common kingfisher. Then here there is another white throated kingfisher. That, then that's a red one. Little egg. Now this is a collage of whatever words I have seen in Kavini, Solkare and um, Postodile. Then these are the references I do. I uh, got some information from Ewald also and I have the book of the Indian subcontinent written by Richard Clement, Carol Linskip and Clement. Okay, uh, 
then like she mentioned you can do comparison of all the three areas in a single table now i understand your title is bird plumage and their diet but i didn't get much of the inference of why you are comparing that and what is the conclusion that you have arrived at both i did not get okay uh, in the first one checklist serial number 3 8 9 11 12 14 and 15 checklist all these names are correct third one which we found second one which king fisher see in scientific name you have put family instead of the uh, actual scientific name then serial number 9 and 15 they are one and the same we only get one in the terms of the name but it is repeated twice so you did not get 15 species you got 14 species then the other one jungle fall which jungle fall you got which fly catcher you got which ibis you got which outlet you got all these things are incomplete without that your category of insectivore carnivore that is not going to be accurate for malabar grey hornbill which we consider as frugivore they have put insectivore and if it eats lizards how can you put insectivore if it eats mammals how can you call it insectivore from where you got the category listing sir you did it yourself you cannot do that yourself because you are not a bird expert so you need to refer articles which has something on the gill g u i l d please write it down gill means the diet it follows okay so what kind of uh, gill it follows they will actually there are there are a lot of studies available so based on that you have to say okay this bird is frugivore this bird is carnivore and things like that for sun bird you have put insectivore it is a nectarivore that's why its beak is curved like that so that it can consume nectar from the flowers so all those mistakes are there which you have to correct okay then um, just i didn't get anything related to your title from your explanation but judging by your title bird diet and plumage diet does not determine the plumage it is the habitat that determines the plumage okay uh, then uh, this corrections you have to do the entire species list for all three places okay then um, what is that the category the gill that you have to recheck then you can also do iucn because you have done it in uh, different areas very far away you can do iucn status also in the name so you can check if there are any birds that are endangered threatened and things like that um, reference format is incorrect when you cite a book there is a format that you need to follow so please follow that formats now coming to your uh, project as a whole i think she has given the just of it 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 needs to cover the ecological role of birds in the ecosystem why you are comparing three study area two study area why you are comparing these three areas um, sir where is uh, sol gele sir it's uh, in belangpur ah huh? in belangpur where is vasco delhi Then why you went to Kabini? Tell me why you are comparing this thing. Sir, because you are. Because you went to all this. It should not be like that. In your project, you have to have a clear goal of why you are comparing these three study areas. Okay. So redefine your objectives. Redefine your study area. Redefine your results. Materials and methods has to be there. Which is there right now, but method you have not mentioned. What type of method you followed to identify the birds? What time of the day you visited? How many visits you have made to each of these study areas? All these things are required. That's all. Good morning, everyone. We the students of Bangalore have last five days. I heard a question based on the topic of our case study is watching birds in the ecosystem. This is Hansini, and I am Manita. We are students of Grade Seven. Birds are beautiful creatures on planet Earth. They never fail to catch a rare animal around. They are vital to the ecosystem, both wild and those managed by humans. They help with pest control, pollination, and seed dispersal. We have visited two different lakes to monitor birds for the following reasons: how they live, what they eat and drink, how clean they keep their surroundings, and how all of the climatic changes are affecting the birds. What? Our study area was two lakes. We observed birds in and around. 
the virgin should observe a photograph and they have been identified through publicly available information and various websites. The first thing we visited is the Zimbabwe Kudavi. It is approximately 7 acres and 21 meters. It is 9 kilometers far from the second lake we visited. The second lake we visited is Sadaramangala Lake, which is approximately 51 acres and 21 meters. The first lake we visited is Nirveka Kura Lake on 24th of July 2024 at 8 5 a.m. The first bird we observed there is a great cormorant. This is a great cormorant. As you can observe, the great cormorant has a body which is overall blackish grey in colour and the skin near the beak is yellowish white in colour. The next bird we observe is a yellow water lapwing. A yellow watered lapwing may seem similar to a duck, but it's different as it has a forehead shape which is black in colour and the beak is long and yellow in colour along with its legs. The next bird is a white wagtail. A white wagtail may seem similar to a sparrow, but it's different than a sparrow as the body is half white and half black in colour and the beak is very long and white. We observe three other birds in Nimai Kura as well. The first bird is the house sparrow. We can identify it as a house sparrow as its body is whitish green colour with black fur under its beak and brown stripes. The next bird that we observe is a little hybrid. It seems similar to a swan, but it's different from a swan as we have as the length of its neck is almost half to its body side and its beak is much longer than that of a swan. It has light greenish yellow, same here its beak. The next bird is the western swan. It may look similar to a peacock, but it's different than a peacock as the size of the bird is much smaller and it has much longer legs which help it catch fish and insects. The next lake we visited is Sadar Mangala Lake on 28th of July 2024 at 5.30 pm. The first bird we observed there is an Asian opossum. This is an Asian opossum. It has a body which is completely white in colour and the tail is blackish with the legs being really long and reddish brown in colour. The next bird is a common kingfisher. A common kingfisher can be easily identified as it has a body which is orange in colour with blue feathers and a really long beak. The next bird has not been identified but here it is actually written as a turtle but it's wrongly identified which is modified later but it's not taken. We observe two other birds. One of the birds is the painted spot. It may look similar to a flamingo, but it's different from a flamingo. Uh, you can identify it uh, as its body is white with grey colour with black, uh, with black straps and uh, red colour near its tail. Its face and beak part is orange colour and its beak is long to help it catch fish. And the next is the African fish eagle. You can identify it as an eagle as its beak is flat in the water curved at the top, which help it to tear the flesh of its prey its And its claws are pointed, which help it to tear the flesh. Next bird is the reed component. It may look similar to a crow, but it's different, as it's much bigger than the, uh, its body is much bigger than that of a crow's body, and its neck is much, uh, its neck is much longer. Based on, based on the observations we made, we can conclude that the existence of flora, fauna and trees are really important for the birds as they need a proper home and a proper shelter to live. We should also start promoting pollution free lakes as the birds need to have a proper food habitat and also the aquatic animals living inside the lake also need to have a proper food. The migration of the birds is also really essential for the survival of birds as they need to migrate many miles away to find a proper ecosystem for their super needs. There are some recommendations that can be given to make a better ecosystem for the birds. One, we can start by planting trees, which is a better home for the birds. And we should stop littering inside lakes and rivers as it may affect the aquatic life, which will later on affect the food habits of many birds. And we should promote conservation of lakes and invite more people to join us if you are conserving lakes and rivers. And we should create awareness about the advantages of happiness, uh, socially, ecological and diverse environment. And, and how we all should be a part of it. These are the references. We have used Wikipedia for additional information. We have used Google Images for the identification of the words. We have used Google Earth for mapping. We have also read a few research papers. Thank you to IAS for giving us an opportunity to perform on this platform. And thank you to Bhagdesh Vilas for choosing words. Thank you to our guide, Srimati Pragati Ma'am, for helping us to do all this. Thank you. Yeah, this is
to our feedback, right? For all the previous presentations. So you could tell us what changes you have to make.
out that G T U. Actually, this is not the PPT we sent. The PPT we sent the family said it was not given, and we came to a time when it was given there, and one part was not identified. We we changed that. We changed that also. So this is not the one we sent it to our. See, what happens is, I tell you what happens. What was the cutoff date given to you?
So you might have seen red wagon. Uh, then the white wagon, that is not white wagon, that is white blue wagon. Scientific name should be Matasila, Madrasa Matrasa. Who is right now? Where is your name? Correct identification for what you and me. Passive domestic is now spare, okay, I will believe you. Uh, little regret spelling mistake, common name. And uh, family name, why you have to dot at the end? Okay, that we have to do and it is not migrated in Bangalore. They are residents in Bangalore, so that you have to check. Okay, see, wherever you are referring to, if the database was created in some other country, that bird might be migratory there, but not here. That is why we always say, refer research articles which are valid for your local area. Okay? Then, uh, conservation status, you have to change it to IUCN status. Yeah, and that is not Western Swamp name. That is Purple Swamp name or Grey Eden Swamp name. Western Swamp name means Western countries. Unless India became a Western country overnight, it cannot be a Western Swamp name. Okay, next slide. Why you have made serial number 2 as bold? Or is, is that just the format and my eyes are clean? Yeah, I think it's my eyes. Okay, it's because of the color. But somewhere they have bolded and somewhere yeah. keep it uniform. See here it is not bold, here it is bold. Text has to be uniform. And my family name has P dot for video. Yes, please change that. Okay, please recheck. Next, migratory and non-migratory also recheck for all the species. Next. How many fishes? What is it doing in India? You didn't think of it when you saw the name. What would African fish eagle come? Why would they come to India as if there are no fishes in Africa? Flying to <laughs> Okay, that is not uh, African fish eagle, that is Brahmini kind, what we see here, which looks exactly like that. Okay, then uh, that also again, scientific name Microcarpa African as Reed Cormorant, that is not that. Again, it is not African. We have Indian here. That is little cormorant. Serial number 3 should be little cormorant. Your Google lens is not working properly. Okay? <laughs> Next. <laughs> See, whenever Google lens gives you a name for others also, please verify its distribution. If it is not in India, it cannot be found in India. Okay? Birds don't decide, okay, let me go to a tour to India. <laughs> Next slide. So the font is scientific, like some they have put it in italics and some. Yeah. All, all scientific names. This is not the modified format. So when there we should be in it. Nah, just make sure it is like that. And how many species you found totally in Nimbe Kai Pura Lake? Six. Only six. How many visits you have made? One. What stopped you from making more visits? See, bird study is not like any biodiversity study, unless plants and trees. It's not like you go and stand in the lake and every bird is going to come and stand in one line and say, take my elements. Right? They are going to be doing their own activity. If it is trees, they are not going to run away. So one visit is enough. But if you are doing herbs, seasonal visits are required. Because every season herbs change. Shrubs and trees, okay, one visit is enough. But birds or any fauna, you have to do multiple visits. Okay? And have you noted down the weather condition of the day that you visited? You have to. Based on the weather condition, the number of birds will vary. Okay? Then, uh, what else? I need a table to show how many species you got in both the lakes, which lake is more rich in bird diversity and why. Okay, which lake is hosting more number of uh, endangered or threatened species and why? What is making those birds stay there? Which is the common, which is the rare? If you make one visit, you cannot tell which is common and which is rare. Maybe the rarest bird even what we don't find came and sat in front of you. <coughs> but
But how do you know it is red? You would not know. So make multiple visits. When did you visit the lake? First time was on very July. Second day was How far is the lake from both of you? Sir, the lake distance from you. From your home to the lake? 15 minutes. 15 minutes, right? First lake was close to my house, second lake was close to my house. So you can either do divide and work or work together. That is up to you. You have to visit both the lakes multiple times in different seasons also. Okay. In every visit, you have to note down the weather condition and the species of birds. Understood? Then you give me a comparison of which species, where the species is more or less and why. And that you have to put in the conclusion, giving that, okay, this lake has more number of species because of so and so reason. This lake has less number of species because of so many disturbances and things like that. So it is recommended that we have to avoid these disturbances and things like that. That's your conclusion. I want to tell you one thing that in the presentation I saw that I heard that they wrongly identifying the first one. No, 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 no. I will tell you one thing. Don't give any negative comments or any negative result in your videos. Okay. That means negative result. Don't. That means negative. Point you wanted to give this is for the lake that we wanted to protect our environment. So you were uh, studies. It's like that. Okay. She is told that that you wrongly first wrongly identified. Then judges will think. See what no. if what if we three did not know how to identify that point. Yeah. If we three didn't know that what that word is not, we three don't know how to identify words. Actually, the word was not identified. We not write it wrong. Yet to be identified, you can write it wrong. No, I will tell you one thing. While explaining, you said no. In yes. explanation, you gave that to the wrong sentence. That's why I'm telling you. I will tell you one thing. In the that the judges, they doesn't know the words identification and all. Then you will give this bad stuff. All this everything it will be wrong. Huh? They will think like that, na? You will also be thinking you know, like that, na? Then which one is correct? Which one is wrong? Okay, this is okay, good only. But I don't give that much mark because you gave that. You have misidentification. Misidentification. That is, you gave no one thing to that the judge's mind. Don't do like that. Okay, whatever you know, that only you present. We don't want entire that the species you wanted to give. Okay, one missing that you cannot identify that if, uh, some photos also it's not uh, up to the uh, proper way. So you cannot identify. It's not a big uh, uh, problem that you can leave it. Whatever you know, only that. Then positive that comment. Don't give from like that comment. It will come no. It will affect your mark also. This is this idea? Don't give us the chance to cut marks. Yeah. Basically. Then present mind, you should come and give the presentation. They will tell, they will ask you some question. Okay, you don't know the thing. Okay, I will come. Uh, I will check it and I will come back. That's all. Don't cry. Don't be defensed <laughs> and all these things. Okay, that is not. But what is the big achievement you are presenting here? That is the you have lot of. Friends, no. In that, you only get the chance to present here. That is the first thing. Then the advice and knowledge will come later. But you should prepare for that. Your title also you can add comparison of uh, or monitoring birds in Nimbekaipura Lake and Southern Mangalore Lake. You can put it like that itself. Because lake ecosystem means we assume it is something else. And the references, please follow the format. It's not in format. That's all. Good afternoon. My name is Tanisha Bora from Grade 7 of Marketing in Love School Bikini, Bengaluru. I have been researching on terrestrial feet around the lake. I have visited Sadaruta Lake and Kanamuta Lake in Bengaluru. Please answer 
essential for every living organism. They provide us oxygen, food, and shelter. They give us medicinal values for treatment. They also make the ground stabilized enough to hold the ground properly. They give us they prevent soil erosion also. I went to Kamanda Lake and Sadaranda Lake and compared both the lakes. How many number of species and the trees are present in both the lakes? Research goals. Identifying the tree and comparing the number of trees and species present in both the lakes. Methodology. Visiting the lake, collecting the data, the mapping of the lake will be visitor, and even identification of trees taking the help of local people and using Google Lakes. Mapping of study area. I went to Kanamula Lake on 6 July 2024, which is located in Kanamula Village, Bengal. Then I went to Sadarakula Lake in Gorige Halim Main Road, Bengal. I have observed flowers, leaves, the barks of the tree, and I have also observed the trees, the flowers changing into the fruit. These are the trees I have been observing. The first one is Devil's Walking Stick, which is over here. It is known as Aralia Spinosa. I found 20 of them. It is used for medicinal value. I found a glossy trident, which is over here. It is known as Magistrum Lucia. I found 27 of them. It is used for medicinal value. Then I found an Indian army. It is known as Terminaria Katapa. I found 36 of them. It is used for Indian cures. Then I found a bamboo, which is known as Bambusa vulgaris. I found 37 of them. It is used for folk medicine. Then I found a candle nut, which is over here. It is known as Aladius Molochanus. I found 17 of them. It is used for medicine. Then I found a sacred tree, which is over here. It is known as Ficus religios. I found 12 of them. It is used for traditional medicine. Then I found the last one, which is known as Pink trumpet tree, which is known as Tabibia rosea. I found 19 of them. It is the Tabibia rosea is also referred to as the people tree. Then I went to Kanamanga Lake and I saw first saw was the Palama tree, which is over here. It is known as Pugia monastery. I found 13 of them. It is used for medicinal animals. And I saw guava. And the trees, the tree which I found guava does not have any guava fruits yet. It is known as Sidium Vaja. I found five of them. It is the fruit bearing tree. Then I found a Gulmuga tree, which is known as Zedonic Regia. I found ten of them. It is used for ornamental purposes. Then I found a bamboo tree, which is known as Bambusa Vulgaris. I found one of them, which is near the main entrance. It is used for four minutes. Then a banyan tree, which is near the main entrance and in the middle of the lake, okay. next to the lake, in the middle of the ground. Yes, it is known as Ficus Bengalensis. I have found three of them. It is used for shade and food. Then I saw a eucalyptus tree, which is known as eucalyptus globus. I have found two of them. It gives us medicinal values. The last one which I saw was a Bodhi tree. It is known as Ficus religiosa. This is also referred to as the tree, which was already in Sadarnamda Lake Africa. I found five of them. It is also having a medicinal value. The orange one is referred to as the Kanamanga Lake and the red one is referred to as the Sadarmanga Lake. As you can see, bamboo and the Bodhi tree and the and the uh, bamboo and Bodhi tree are the common trees which are found in the both the lakes. Kanamula Lake has 39 trees, 7 species per lake. And Sadarmula Lake has 45 trees and 7 species per lake. And if I have compared both the lakes, Sadarmula Lake has more trees than the Kanamula Lake. It, the, both the lakes have 7 species per lake. Both lakes have similar levels of land diversity with 7 species. The most common one is bamboo and the banyan and the bamboo tree. Primary use. Kannamangala Lake has more proportion on the medicinal values than Sadarangala Lake. Sadarangala Lake has more focuses more on the fruit bearing trees. 
species and specific roles. Sadarunga Lake has more emphasis on fruit bearing trees, and the Kanamanga Lake focuses more on medicinal plants. Tree density. We need to increase more trees in Kanamanga Lake because Sadarunga Lake has more trees than Kanamanga Lake. Plant utilization. Sadarunga Lake demonstrates a broader utilization of its trees, including food and showcases purposes, reflecting Farag, a more community centered or agricultural approach. And hence, there was tea in Kanamanga Lake. We need to introduce more trees in Kanamanga Lake because it has less than tea than Sadarunga Lake. We can plant more trees like mango, tamarind, and other etc. trees in the Kanamanga Lake. Expand the medicinal value in Sadarunga Lake. Kanamanga Lake has more medicinal trees than Sadarunga Lake. We need to add more trees so that the environment can be suitable for people to can walk over. Focus on native species and biodiversity. We can introduce more species in both the lakes which we don't even have in both the lakes. Community involvement and education. We can plan some planting events for both the lakes and we can, people who want to participate can also plant more trees and species in both the lakes. <coughs> so, sustainability practices. Bamboo in both the lakes are used for construction, working, etc. I have used the light and price as the reference and I naturalist plant, identify that plant, Wikipedia and planet organization. Thank you. Here, I observe. 
in our scientific in our eye observing, we, we cannot write it like that. Okay. okay. That in key observations, what are observations you find out? That is the thing. So, while explaining, I must say that I have heard what is the The study, no. you can, you yeah. can address that this. That is, is a current study. Numerous plants were observed around the lake with many having ayurvedic medicine properties. The current study? Current you study you can. The present study you can. That is, we do not tell I, we, we, like that. Okay. This is the presentation now. For the presentation. That is, we will give some, that is, they just so I did. <laughs> this is the, some things, okay. This is not the way to another one. In that graph, over we will know. Here, that is three things, same color we, we will see. Only two okay. seconds. The yes. addition of three is not required. Why Only two color, color when you can use, the third you can knock off because of two. If you use two different colors, two contrasting colors, that will give the fish. Means you don't use that third one, but we are chosen for the third additional, what additional in Sadhana That is not required. And that is confusing. Then here you must even the comparison study. Huh? Yes. Yeah. Then we require the Sadhana Mangala and Sadhana Mangala. These are the two lakes. Huh? In that lakes, what the what is the how much is the area? Okay, I understand. Yeah, I understood that. But that plus that entire area that the trees are not there, no. Water is there, macrophytes are there. Okay, yeah, this the is the Yeah, that's why that Riga Madam's that presentation, you should go and digitize the entire that where is the that land. Lake boundary, that is what is the color, what is the color in three lake? Water bodies? Water bodies. And the water was organized. No, no, no. She is asking in the map what, how should you depict the water body? Okay. In yes. what color yes. should you depict the water What do you use that? So, color, color. Please, after that place, you admit that the body is not the map after the Okay, okay. That's why you please go and do. Once more you will see that All video, then she will around. mention, she has already mentioned about the water body, that the water area should be in the blue color, vegetation should be in the green color and all the things it is there. Eh? That's why in your lake area that your water body worries that in the where you uh, contacted you were that uh, study, the, that the plant study, that is also you please digitize and give the color. Then we can see here. Okay, that is, uh, then you should mention how much is the that vegetation area. Because you are given the comparison. Then judges will ask, no, then uh, that, the, that lake has the higher area, that's why the plants are higher. Okay. That you should tell no why their plants are high number. Then another one the exotic species, native species also is identified. Because you are given the ecological functions of which is more. So you please tell which one is the native species, how many native species are there, how many exotic species are there. I don't know. Okay. Can you tell me what are terrestrial trees? Terrestrial trees are the trees which are present near the lakes and the forest. Okay, what what do you call the trees present in your campus? Aquatic trees. No. Then macrophytes are that. <coughs> not trees. No, sir. Plants. Macrophytes are the trees. Aquatic plants. Yes. So when you say trees, it is understood. Okay, that uh, term you can avoid. Then uh, we do the same thing. Objectives and research goals. You just combine that. Then uh, methodology. What field survey method did you use to identify trees? I took the help of the local people and I did That is to identify. Yes. I am saying, what method you use to survey? There are different ways to survey trees. Yeah, yeah. I use the copies and mark uh, yeah. each. Time. There is a method for that. Okay, that you just read some papers where they have studied tree diversity of a particular region. You will get to know the name of the method. Maybe you have followed the same method, you just don't know the name of it. Okay. Okay, just find out and put that here. Okay, then, um, okay, this Google Lens is a problem everywhere. Huh? <laughs> Go to the... I am not touching upon the map because she has given all the points. 
uh, key observations, this also you can include in methodology itself. Okay, okay next. Yeah, here. Can you tell me what are the characteristics of a tree? Like how the leaves are the appearance of the leaves, the trees, okay. bark, and how much length is the tree grown. To identify a flora as a tree, what are the characteristics it should have? What type of leaves? Just by leaves you can tell if it is from a plant or a tree or a grass. Then how much height? That is a mistake you have done. Because bamboo is not a tree, it's a grass. So you cannot include that in the trees list. Okay, so either change the title from trees to flora or remove bamboo from the list. Okay, then um, you said Tabibia rosia is also called the people tree. It is not. And in the next slide, for Ficus religiosus, he said the same. So please verify that. And uh, two different then, places. Can you check Indian Arabic if the leaves are big? Uh, Very broad leaves. It's not. Then it is not Indian Arabic. Okay. You, your campus has Indian Arabic. Please check. They will be bigger than my palm. The leaves will be bigger than my palm. So that's not that. Please verify your uh, identification. Okay. All, all of them. Then uh, comparison charts, I have put the same thing. Uh, now go back to that. Yeah, here used for you have put right. Instead of that, you can write ecological function or uh, this one because you have that objective. You can actually write that. What are the ecological functions it is performing at the lake? If it is not very complicated, because you are in class seven now. If you feel that is difficult, then you just put uses and then put that use. benefits. Ah, benefits you can do. Some might be used as food, so medicine. Need to take out the use. Ah, change that. Okay, and uh, number of trees is a good thing. Have you measured? You are not measured. Better than that, you are not measured. Just have counted the trees. Um, the density. <laughs> How did you find out the density? You just based on the numbers you are giving us a set. And references. References are not in the format. You go to the next slide. Yeah. This uh, references you cannot give like this. You have to give it in the proper format. And you said you have referred some research articles also, right? Where are those? I use it from Google. Uh, Google is a search engine. It is like I take photo of you from uh, this phone and then you ask, she asks me where did you find the Tanisha, I say phone. <laughs> Google is like that. Google is a search engine which will help you get the information from different sources. Okay? So you need to actually find out which link that is, which journal it is, and then there's a format that you have to put it in. Place the references in that format. Recommendations is fine, don't go to conclusions. And the fifth point is that it is. So, so, so you have to remove bamboo, so everything related to bamboo has to go. And she mentioned, uh, she highlighted the use of bamboo for timber for building blocks. Other, no, no significance of other trees. Yeah, when, she, when, when she said ecological, then she meant for human. <laughs> okay, ecological means for the ecosystem, what are the benefits? Okay. This confusion you are seeing. Okay. So based on the results, we have to get the conclusion. You must give it to tree density, then should the methodology part also how you want to find out the tree density. That equation should be done. See your results? Your results should be correlating to your objectives. Objective 1, assessing the tree diversity. Result 1, so many species are present in this lake and this lake. Okay, second objective was, what was the second objective? No, go to that one, that is the <laughs> Assess the density of trees population. So here, this lake has this much density, that lake has that much density, that we have to give in the second result. 
Third result analyze the users of the trees, general users. So give general users of the trees. Your results have to be correlating to the goals. That's all. And in the conclusion section, we see mentioned that, uh, that uh, this lake, uh, this Tanamangla lake has more medicinal plants. And that is having the more value as compared to the other lake, uh, that, uh, that Tanamangla. Because it has uh, fruit bearing trees. How is it that uh, comparable then? Means fruit bearing trees doesn't have uh, any ecological uh, functioning at all. How did you prioritize? That. Uh, mm. See, you said that those trees, um, one of the lakes had more of medicinal property in uh, those trees, right? So and that, you said is better than the other lakes. Because there are other lakes yes, that southern Mangla have more fruit bearing trees. <laughs> no, you narrated like that. I wanted to compare how uh, more trees are present of which type. Just a I not say that this lake is better than this. No, you mentioned like that. Yes, That's the equation that we got. Like you like how much trees are present in this is the type of trees. More medicinal trees are present. Don't make uh, such uh, no. statements. Be careful when you explain that. You should have very clear points. Here it becomes a little confusing. Not in this slide, the next slide. This part becomes a little confusing. So you put Kanamangala Lake, two columns you make. One side Kanamangala, one side Sadaramangala. Give the same things for both. That becomes easy to compare. Yeah, for, uh, the and that will reduce your text also and that will make yeah. your interactive work. Your slides will be more interactive. The medicine is value. What are the benefits you are going on? Some are ornamental, but how many numbers based on that percentage distribution also you get? Then it will be very easy. And what she said was a very important point native or exotic or invasive. Yeah. Next, and they 
varies from the color reddish to yellowish brown depending on their species. They are highly terrestrial workers and are, they are very aggressive in nature. They prey on insects which are harmful to their host tree. Next, I have scarlet skimmer. The scarlet skimmer is a, or ruddy marsh skimmer is a species of dragonfly. It is blood red in color and has a and has a thin black line along its abdomen. Its eyes are also blood red in color and uh, recommendations. Insects, as you know, are helpful to the biological environment in many ways. Some of the ways are being a biological best control, introducing genetic variations in plants, enhancing Okay, and then tell us this is where more vegetation is 
any analysis that you can do will be great. Okay, and most importantly, what you have to do, you have to visit your own garden as many times as possible. At what time you go for insect documentation? Uh, maybe the evening. Why evening? Because it's dark, crickets and all like, come out. Uh, what happened? I didn't see a cricket in your room. Yeah, I didn't find one. <laughs> you heard the tr 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 yeah. sound? Yeah, <laughs> I, I was searching for it but I couldn't find it. It was hiding. So something. you have to record that sound and then ask Google. <laughs> yes. Your phone can record the Voice sound. Voice recorder, right? Voice recorder. There are databases for that. Okay, you can, you can. See, we are living in 21st century. Don't act like it came from 19th century. We have technology to do so many things. Yeah. We can definitely record. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 At first floor, a lot of AI projects we saw. <laughs> okay, so definitely you can do that. Then, uh, study area, how big is your apartment? In that, how big is your garden area? Please write down this point, sir. Okay. That also is important. And what is that blue color thing that is seen there? This part is the swimming pool. Whereas what is the scarlet skin? Yes. See, presence of water indicates presence of water. So that indication also you can show. What type of habitat they prefer? Okay. Why did you see only one button? Sir, I found the button in this area and I... No, my question is why only one species? I don't know. I couldn't find anything. Because you went to the evening. <laughs> You have to go in the morning also. Sundays, you have to find out when the particular species are active. Like insects are active mainly during morning time. From 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock is the best time to do insect study. <coughs> because they are cold blooded, they need the sunlight. So after 8 o'clock, if you start your study, after breakfast, you go there, sit in your garden or walk around in your garden till 10 o'clock. Every Sunday from now, if you do, you will have plenty of data. But you have to assure me that you do. Okay, we'll see. That if you say, that study area, that plants, how many, which one is the most dominant one? That plant, that photos. Vegetation type you can Vegetation type, that's it. Trees are more, or shrubs are more, or flowering plants are more, or grasses are more, that you can Habitat type. Habitat. Then uh, those photos of species, you took those photos? Yeah, a few I took and uh, the uh, this one. The one. I took it from Google because it was camouflaged in the grass. So if you have taken from another source, you have to put the source in that slide itself, okay? okay. And references you need to prop you need to maintain proper format. Same thing I'm repeating for most of you. You don't have references, you have. So yeah, these references you have you need to have more references. Please refer any research articles on insects. You will find many. I think Google images, identification of the insects. Yeah, Google Lens actually. That's all. Thank you. Good afternoon to my presenter. I'm Anil Reddy of Standard Line. And I am Adwani Ramachandra of Standard 9 and yeah. I am from Bhagdini Villa School Whitefield and our research is based on the birds of Pumanahar Lake. Lakes are a dynamic inland operating system and they provide and support a balanced adaptive community of organisms. Birds are recognized as one of the most important natural indicators of their environment. They are essential for factors like pollination, pest control and are very important in the food chain. We should preserve these species and should create a safe environment for birds in which birds aren't affected by human activities. So the objective of our research is to identify and study about the birds inhabiting in the Bomanari Lake as well as to analyze their existing status and the factors affecting their presence. We have also aimed to determine the threats affecting the biodiversity of the lake and we have also briefed upon the CSR which has taken place in the past in order to improve the quality of the uh, Our methodology includes the usage of binoculars, a 
starts in cell phone camera, a notebook, a pen. The method of visual identification and sound based identification is used. To confirm visual identification, the app Merlin Bird ID is used. And to confirm sound based identification, Pakshi app is used. Study was carried out from 8th of July to 1st of August in 2024, and time spent on each visit was about 1 and a half hours from 6 30 to 8 a.m. Data 
regarding the sizes of the bird. And as we can see, the uh, the little egret is the largest bird found, which is about 55 to 65 centimeter. And the white throat barbicid is the smallest bird found in the lake, which is about 21 to 24 centimeter. Here we have taken the average size of the birds as 40.3 centimeter. And through this pie chart, we can conclude that 63.64% of the birds observed are smaller than the average size, whereas 36.36% of the birds were larger than the average size. Here is a pie chart based on the food diet of the birds. 60% uh, of the birds were omnivores, that is 6 out of 10 birds, and 40% of the birds were carnivores. The carnivores were the birds in the wider brackets, the Indian swan the little ringer, and the black eyed. Here is the pie chart based on the food diet of the birds. 60% of the birds were carnivores, 40% of the birds were carnivores, and 40% of the birds were carnivores. Here is the pie chart based on the food diet of the birds. 60% of the birds were carnivores, 40% of the birds were carnivores, and 40% of the birds were carnivores. Here is the pie chart based on the food diet of the birds. 60% of the birds were carnivores, 40% of the birds were carnivores, and 40% of the birds were carnivores. Here is the pie chart based on the food diet of the birds. 60% of the birds were carnivores, 40% of the birds were carnivores, and 40% of the birds were carnivores. Here is the pie chart based on the food diet of the birds. 60% of the birds were carnivores, 40% of the birds were carnivores, and 40% of the birds were carnivores. Here is the pie chart based on the food diet of the birds. The uncommon bird on the 1st of August is the laughing dog. However, there were no uncommon birds found on the 8th of July. <coughs> Hence, all the birds that are found on the 8th of July found on all three days of the observation. So, following are the factors which affect the presence of these birds. So, the first factor is that the good air quality index, which we had inferred from the presence of lichens on the trees surrounding the lake. So, as we all know that the ground level ozone and nitrogen oxides. They are uh, the most common air pollutants. They uh, are powerful oxidants which can cause serious damage to the bird's lungs. Uh, but as a conclusion, we can, uh, due to the presence of lichens, we can conclude that the air quality of the lake was clean. Another factor is that there were no mobile towers in the surroundings. As seen in the fifth slide, which is the mapping of the lake, we observed that there were no mobile towers in the surroundings, which is a good sign. Again, as seen in the mapping of the lake, uh, as you all know that the glass printed buildings and the tall buildings have caused millions and millions of bird deaths a year. Uh, this is due to the artificial lights and reflections which disrupt their senses and cause fatal collisions. The last fact is that there is sufficient amount of trees surrounding the lake, especially the fruit bearing trees, which, uh, which uh, provides a source of food to the birds whose, uh, whose uh, diet includes the fruits. Here is an insight on the previously undertaken corporate social responsibility on the global highway. Uh, until September 2023, the lake served as a dumping ground for all natural pigs. Then the Mandur Bar Charity in collaboration with United Way Bengal under Urban Life's corporate social responsibility with a project of 1.1 crores took an initiative to educate the lake. The rejuvenation of the lake was to happen in two phases. The first phase initiated the state removal and the construction of the lake pond, and the second phase uh, included the plantation drive of Tahan Sa. As you can see in this image, the lake pond is made, hence we come to the first phase was complete. However, when we visited the site, we noticed that there were several saplings which were not planted and just kept next to trees. Uh, uh, because of this, we can conclude that this uh, second phase was dropped midway. Uh, this uh, CSR uh, it also included the state removal, which has so following event, um, the following event supports that the sewage that is discharged to the lake causes foaming. As we can see this image, the foaming, uh, the foaming is due to the presence of harmful chemicals in the uh, sewage. And as seen in the fifth slide of the lake, we see that there are many farms surrounding the lake. So we can also conclude that. Uh, this foaming can cause due to the insecticide and pesticides released. Here are the information. Uh, we need to increase the number of trees surrounding the lake, uh, thus increasing the ductility of birds in the lake. The sewers that are discharging its waste into the lake should be blocked and diverted efficiently. Plastic should be dumped into the lake and the usage of pesticides around the lake should be regulated. Organizations should make more CSR oriented uh, initiatives. Uh, here is the plastic and incorrect disposal of the waste. We can see a lot of rocks and plastic in the lake. The rocks are dumped into the lake to divert all the sewage. However, this is not an efficient act. So, as a conclusion, we can say that the sufficient amount of trees around the lake make it an apt place for the lake to be a habitat for birds. However, more trees should be planted, especially the fruit bearing trees. And the water entering the, entering the lake is not treated properly. Um, due to the presence of 
birds. You can also come to that there is a presence of fishes in the lake and the lake's water is not clean, which is inferred from the foam to the, uh, the presence of chemicals, which will also affect the life of the fish as well as the birds. And the CSR activities undertaken, which include the construction of lake bind, is visibly seen around the lake, thus inferring that the first phase of the initiative was undertaken. Uh, we should make an effort to preserve these birds. Uh, and all the birds uh, were under the least concern of the ICN that is. Most birds, uh, scientists were saying the only one is. The most observed bird, uh, bird was the common bird, and the least observed bird was the uh, grey ass thompson. All of the birds were related to birds, and 63.6% of the birds were less than 41%. Uh, here are the references, which include basic and information website, Murray Bird Army, Moodleless, Wikipedia, Body of India. Do you 
you are in the forest area or somewhere that you have terrestrial or near to apartment or anything that is okay. But if we take the nine friends, like we found See, like... See, no. I understand why you have put, but the way you have put is not right. Yeah. Okay. Lichens are indicators of good air quality. That you can do. Don't write good air quality index. If you mention the word index, we expect a number. Okay, because AQI is that's what it denotes the number and level of pollution based on that number, we'll understand. So when you say AQI index, if you mention, then we need the number. That methodology also you should treat. Otherwise, you that the reference you should be. You can make it other persons uh, that a uh, uh, paper that a published article or something. Then you should give that your reference also, and not also. Understood? Then, then uh, yeah, another one thing like this: where you will introduce in the lichens? Where you will introduce? That is clean, clean air quality, no? Yeah. That's it. That you cannot introduce now, you cannot do anything, no? Then why you want it to put that part in here? No, no. They will give the factors affecting the presence of birds now. Then they have given the lichens, presence of lichens. That means they have given the ideas to this one. But in the late where you will be. No, you cannot do like that now. You understood my point. What is the correlation between what is, uh, lichens and birds? Uh, so here, uh, with a good air quality, uh, with a good air quality, we think that the lichens are being come through that air quality the lake is clean. So yes. the no. I should tell you one thing. This is yours, is the Bombay and Hadi Lake zone. In that, macrophyte you are given, then it is good. That is terrestrial cheese.
spreadsheet trading, not even different, different, big, big subject, biology, different. We know that. But in that world, it is suitable in your project. That is the important thing. Okay. Now, then, mainly this is the point. First thing I feel, CSR part can be removed from your objectives. To brief about CSR is not an objective. It is good for you to know if some questions come up related to your study area, you can mention if that is relevant. Otherwise, remove it. You are wasting a lot of time there. Okay, next. Uh, uh, why, did, why did you not use Merlin itself for the summer area also? Uh, we, uh, we I mean, instead of using two apps for if one app can be used for both. Merlin has some ID also. You just have to click on some ID and yeah, you can do that. Then uh, go to the study area. Please change the title of the study area. It's not mapping of the link, it is study area. And if you use Google Earth or Google Maps, Google Earth, then please export it so that you get all the five components. Don't take screenshot. Because not the arrow, title of the map, the area, the scale, everything is missing. Yeah. They have used polyline to map yeah. the ID. Don't draw the lines. Make a polygon. Now, what Gurujita has told na, in that point you will get the extra mark. That's why we are telling. You will make the map correct, you know, with the north arrow, what are the things, content, that uh, digitization and all the things. Then we understood that you attended, that you got it idea about the Google, how to use. That way we have given the mark. Okay. You understood that software, how to use. Okay. And, uh, they have not properly marked the uh, boundaries. Yeah. And you see the eight point only latitude we have mentioned, but we have mentioned both coordinates. Latitude and longitude we have mentioned. Okay, so you can just write GPS coordinates instead of writing latitude and then continue with what you have put there. Okay, then um, in many slides or in most of the slides I think, uh, scientific name has to be italicized. Okay, you have to write that in the proper format and whatever feedback she gave initially, don't split the words. Okay, that formatting you have to correct it. Color combination I have written which is already discussed. Indian minor. From where did you get that photo? This we got it from Google. That is bank minor. Take pictures of common minor. Okay. Uh, because Indian uh, this one bank minor we don't get it here. Okay. Then. Uh, then you can see here anything it is readable or not. Only that amount we can see. That we can. Common group what you have written we cannot see that. We cannot see. So in the labeling also very. Okay. You can put a background for it so that it is visible here. Then uh, table for different dates and weather. Have you noted the weather conditions first of all? No, sir, we have not. Yeah, How many visits you have made? Three visits you have made. Why only three? Sir, we found times of day. I have two hours in a week, I think we can spend for your project in October. Okay, please do that. Um, then. Uh, See here, instead of giving us these information like peak adaptations, mm -hmm. what is the point of putting peak adaptation here? So it's the feature of time. Not required. It's not helping your project. Okay, feet adaptations not helping your project. What state is your project? Extinction. Extinction state, no, no. It is IUCN state. Okay, just because I go to a lake and I see you some birds more, I cannot say, okay, this is the status of the bird. It is given by IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature. So you put that as a title. Okay, then what is the next one? Activities of bird during observation. Ah, that is okay. Last one, food adaptation. Food adaptation. Ah, it's not adaptation. Food or you can mention as given. And you can mention what is that. There are frugivores. Instead of mentioning sentence, just mention frugivore, carnivore, omnivore. As per a particular research study. From where you got that information? Don't go, don't go to Wikipedia. You have to give source for that as a paper that has studied the data. Okay, so that you please 
diet patterns of birds who have studied, that paper you refer for that uh, segregation. Then in your comparison, why did you compare the size of the bird? 40.3 cm, what does 40.3 cm denote? What is the point? If more bigger birds are present, what does it mean? Or if smaller than 40.3 cm, then what does it mean? Is there any inference? Here you can do now that the carnivorous, how many percentage? So in your results section you can put one line saying that all the words found were obvious. You have that. Fine. Next uh, pie chart here. Uh, next. Yeah. Food base is here. Only two you found. Omnivore and carnivore. Uh, sir, oh, uh, from what we found in there was that uh, though there were no omnivore birds, they had not exclusively uh, just insects. They also included, uh, they also included uh, insects or small mammals or like dead meat. So it was not exclusively. Yeah. Because most of the birds feed on insects and small other organisms yeah. during their breeding season yeah. because they need more proteins. So, but we don't consider that. We consider what is their main diet. Based on that, we tell okay, food you want, obviously, uh, you want and things like that. Okay, and that's why I said refer a research paper related to the dietary studies. Then, can you go to your Venn uh, diagram? This you have to read because you'll be making more visits and you cannot do it this way. Okay, so which are the common species, which are the uncommon species, separately you mentioned. Don't do Venn diagram. Okay, then uh, you made a statement for in one slide saying that uh, this indicates that sufficient trees are there in the habitat. And then later in one of the recommendations you said sufficient trees have to be planted. Can you tell me what is the number of trees that are sufficient? You understand how we will catch you? So whatever you mention, you be very very specific. If you say sufficient, I'll ask how much is sufficient. We have to add more trees. Why? Why do you think there are less trees? And how many more? Why not how many more? That is what we are. Unnecessary things. Don't make general statements. You will definitely get caught. Be stick to your project. Just go around it. Don't go outside. If you go outside, you will get trapped. Okay, then uh, CSR, I have to read Ah, Threats. Go to threats. You should understand the components of the lake first. Okay? Sewage is coming from the inlet. Foaming is there only or everywhere in the lake? The entire periphery or only near the inlets? Uh, See, again, when you are answering also, don't say periphery. You will get caught. Okay, why does it foam? Uh, what are those harmful <laughs> This is what I mean. You had mentioned harmful chemicals. What are those chemicals? You should know whether it causes foaming. Otherwise, don't talk about it. Just say foaming is observed. Stop it there. Harmful chemicals, what are those chemicals you have to know? Then those rocks, do you know why those rocks are put there? Uh, sir, when we are exposed to localized, from what they told us that they had dumped those rocks to dump in light of the sewage. <coughs> sewage is going to come through the inlet, right? So they are not blocking the sewage, they are blocking the larger particles, particles in the sewage. So there is a purpose that is actually helping in filtration. Yeah. Don't show that as a threat. Because of that, those plastic and other debris has, are stuck there. Otherwise, they would have entered the main body of the lake. So please understand what is good in the lake, what is bad in the lake. Okay? Then, uh, what is I just want to run through the checklist. Just show me the checklist. Checklist, checklist. The list of words. Pro, you have to mention this pro. Yeah. Okay.
Indian pilot you have to correct that, you corrected by presenting, so I will not say anything about it. Indian minor you have to correct. Scientific name you have to it. See, uh, go to the photo. See, some photos are not very clear there. But these photos are help you identify, right? So from secondary sources, you can take a good photo and put it here. No problem. But wherever you use put photo from external source, mention the source there itself. Okay, that way your slide will look, will look neat. Okay? Then... Um, and the photo size is also not regular. Yeah, size so is Maintain uniformity in that. I think that's all. This Pakshi app and other thing that should come in your methodology. Oh, it is good. Is there? Yeah. Then I will tell you one thing. The judges don't want to how the judge, the wings, the, what is the color of that bird and all the things. You are given more time to that judge. That is like for you to identify. We need statistical data. That means how much, how many numbers you find out. Then how uh, the IUCN status, then the breeding habitat. Like that, how you understood that uh, uh, birds, that particular birds present in our ecosystem, how they will help to our ecosystem. 